USA Today has named the National Infantry Museum the 2020 Reader's Choice Best Free Museum in the country. It was also named the third best history museum in the United States. It's a reaffirmation of all the work that our volunteers and our staff has put into it and allows us bragging rights. Like anybody else who's number one, we're the best free museum. The museum's exhibits take visitors on a 240-year journey of American history through the eyes of a United States Army infantryman. Museum patrons also have the opportunity to participate in interactive simulations as well as enjoy fine dining. So the museum has a great history of excellence and it's because we focus on our mission. And that mission is to honor soldiers past, present, and future to educate our future soldiers that you see here and educate the populace on the service and sacrifice of not just the soldiers, but their families. Soldiers and military history detachments are tasked with collecting and documenting historical artifacts and data, which are eventually turned over to the center of military history. Over time, that data is released as official Army history and distributed to museums. The soldiers that are out there collecting our official history, our history of what we're doing as a fighting force. So for the folks that go out there and collect it, when they come and see it actually materialize into the stories that we tell within our museums, that's validation that everything that they do uh, is important. The National Infantry Museum is one of 47 museums in the Army Museum Enterprise. The AME maintains the mission of preserving and showcasing the Army's rich history to both soldiers and civilians. One, two, three. Charles Gilbert, Fort Benning, Georgia.